गुड इवनिंग मीनू You are currently the only person in this conference. हेलो गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन कैसे हैं सब लोग कैसे हैं सब लोग यू आर नाउ ऑन म्यूटेड गुड इवनिंग दिशा गुड इवनिंग विपुल गुड इवनिंग सोनी सो यस्टरडे वी स्टार्टेड विद दिस आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस गुड इवनिंग अमन गुड इवनिंग गोवाना उटिफिशियलोजीपीएससीट पैटर्न there is a set pattern first we have to learn about the technology what are the basics of this technology or any technology first question is this we must be very clear about the basics of the technology the use of the technology and then how that technology can be used in governance in the healthcare sector for the good of the general public and if there are any legal issues if the supreme court has any opinion over that technology then we we have to cover it from that perspective okay so basics jaise blockchain mein tha blockchain technology kya hai blockchain technology ke features kya hain fir blockchain technology ka jo use governance mein hai aur national level pe uske jo bhi implications honge and international level pe jo bhi implications honge wo sab humne discuss kiye the आरबीआई का एक सर्कुलर भी डिस्कस किया था सेम ही सेम ही डायरेक्शन में आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस को भी हम स्टडी करेंगे ओके तो कल हमने बात की थी डेट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंट बीइंग्स दे वर फर्स्ट डिस्कस्ड इन द एंशियंट ग्रीक लिटरेचर in the ancient greek myths the artificially intelligent beings they were discussed some kind of robots then alan turing a very great mathematician a very bright personality he he published a paper in the 1950 in the year 1950 computing machinery and intelligence so in this paper in this paper alan turing he discussed about the intelligent machines how the machines they can be intelligent because alan turing he was a biologist also basically a theoretical biologist and he was more concerned about the neural network inside the brain so he was trying to replicate the same thing in the machines he wanted the 
the intelligence to be replicated in the machines so in in his paper in this paper he also proposed a method for determining if a machine is intelligent and that method is known as turing test and turing is regarded as the father of theoretical computer science and the artificial intelligence in fact he is one of the founding fathers of the artificial intelligence because by in the year 1950 the term artificial intelligence it was not <coughs> it was not defined it was not coined okay so he is regarded as one of the fathers of artificial intelligence and the father of theoretical computer science yesterday i also told you that alan turing died by suicide in the year 1954 because in the year 1952 he was prosecuted for the homosexual acts and he was giving the punishment of chemical castration so possibly he was dejected by that kind of treatment by the society and uh, he it is alleged that he committed suicide in the year 1954 and alan turing he also decoded that enigma machine of the nazi germany okay when you chemical castration it is basically chemical castration is uh, damaging the genitals of any person by using some harmful chemicals okay Nitin, I do not know. I do not watch films. I do watch films, but I do not watch films regularly, so I don't know. Okay, so imitation game. Now I will watch this film. Imitation game. and then i will get back to you guys i will watch it and in the year 1956 we have this american computer scientist john mccarthy so this john mccarthy he organized a dartmouth summer research project dartmouth college we have a dartmouth college in hanover and hanover is in new hampshire in usa so john mccarthy he organized a summer research project on the artificial intelligence and basically the artificial intelligence it was established as a field in this conference the term itself was coined during this conference and therefore john mccarthy is regarded as the father of artificial intelligence now if you encounter a question asking who is the father of artificial intelligence and in the options you have john mccarthy and you have alan turing okay and you have to choose only one then you will choose john mccarthy but if john mccarthy is not in the option then and alan turing is in the option then you will mark alan turing okay alan turing is regarding as one of the fathers of artificial intelligence and john mccarthy he is regarded as the father of artificial intelligence because the coining of the term okay it is attributed to john mccarthy is it clear to everyone if in Uh, mcq you encounter both the options john mccarthy and alan turing then you will choose john mccarthy
गाइस पहले वाली क्लासेस ब्लॉकचेन की तो एक डाउट क्लास डिस्कशन क्लास लेनी है और बाकी ब्लॉकचेन से के अगर ओजोन डिप्लीशन में भी कोई प्रॉब्लम है तो फ्रीली आप मुझे बता सकते हैं आई हैव नो इश्यूज इन रिपीटिंग थिंग्स एंड आई विल ट्राई टू कम अप विद न्यू एनालॉजीज सो दैट दी थिंग्स कैन बी क्लियर टू यू ओके सो बी फ्री एंड टेल मी एवरीथिंग इफ यू आर नॉट गेटिंग एनीथिंग because only the basic definitions are involved and they can be easily remembered by using analogies okay in artificial intelligence also we are not going to write any computer algorithms okay we we do not have to learn the computer programming languages so but the basic definitions they can be easily grasped so in 1958 john mccarthy he developed the ai programming language lisp and he published a paper programs with common sense so he was very interested in this field in the artificial intelligence and later he was appointed a professor in the stanford and the rest of his life he he worked on the artificial intelligence so what is this artificial intelligence first of all it is a branch of computer science artificial intelligence is a branch of computer science and it aims to make computers behave like humans okay humans have certain traits humans have the ability to perceive anything humans have the problem solving abilities and humans have the ability to respond to the changing environment okay they can even respond to unknown situations some unknown inputs and humans they can respond to them and produce the outputs so the task was to create machines which can think like humans so artificial intelligence is related to machines which are capable of thinking that was the basic idea which can act and which can learn like humans and the machine ability to perform cognitive tasks i will explain what these cognitive tasks are so john mccarthy he gave a definition that artificial intelligence is the science and engineering of making intelligent machines it is the science and engineering of making intelligent machines so you can use any of the definition but uh, this definition by john mccarthy okay you can always use it because john mccarthy is the father of artificial intelligence so the artificial intelligence it includes the machine learning i will explain what is machine learning and it includes the pattern recognition the ability to recognize the pattern by the machines okay the ability of the machines to recognize patterns and big data i will also explain what is big data in the next class for now you can understand that big data is the huge quantity it is the huge quantity of unstructured data unstructured data okay so big data is characterized by three v's disha is typing something and vipul is also typing please go ahead dishan vipul you wanted to say something big data is unstructured data and it is generated in huge quantities okay 
and big data is characterized by three v's the v alphabet and one v is for the sheer volume of the data generated and one v Disha, please note down everything. Okay, make your own notes as I speak. Your pen should okay. It should start working. These slides they will be with you. They will be with you for future reference. But make notes of everything. Note down the basic definitions. Note down any case studies or examples. And if I am speaking anything, and you can also note it down. Okay, but please note down everything, and uh, also leave a margin on the right side of the paper so that you can add few more things later on. Yes, people, machine learning is basically when the machines they can improve upon using the past experience. So I was telling you about the big data. big data it is characterized by three v's one is the sheer volume of data that is generated each day the velocity of the data the speed with with which the data is generated okay huge quantity of generated huge quantity of data is generated each day okay at a greater pace and the third v is the variety variety of data so a variety of data is produced so big data is characterized by three v's one is the sheer volume of data huge volume of data is produced the data is produced at a greater velocity and there is a varied quantity of data varied type of data and you must have heard about a phrase that data is the new oil have you heard it data is the new oil i will explain it later on why data is the new oil and one thing is self algorithm so these self algorithm these are a part of machine learning self algorithm these are basically used in the machine learning so the term ai it was adopted in the year 1956 and the term artificial intelligence it is attributed to the american computer scientist john mccarthy so what is what are these cognitive tasks Wait a second, Aman. i hope the issue is resolved now can you hear me can you see me wait a second
I think there is some problem here. But you people are getting my voice. OK, if the video is not coming, we can manage it. Just manage by my voice. And I am sorry for this technical glitch. So the cognitive tasks, we want the computers to perform the cognitive tasks. So what are these cognitive tasks? See, the cognitive tasks, these are related to mental ability of a person to process the information. Let us take a very simple example. When you are small, when when you go to the school, okay, and uh, you steal something from, you steal some money from your friend. And when you get back to your home and you tell your mother that today I have stolen these 10 rupees from one of my friend. So what will happen after that? After that, ओके okay, उसके बाद पिटाई होगी चप्पल से आपकी पिटाई होगी तो आपको समझ आ जाएगा कि यार इसमें कुछ ये चोरी करना शायद गलत चीज है उसके बाद एक दो और एक्सपीरियंस के बाद आपको समझ आ जाएगा कि दिस इज रॉन्ग ओके स्टीलिंग इज रॉन्ग वंस यू विल बी पनिश्ड फॉर स्टीलिंग देन योर सिस्टम विल रिकॉग्नाइज दैट स्टीलिंग इज बैड Okay, so in the future you will avoid it. So these tasks, these are known as cognitive tasks. The mental process of acquiring knowledge and through several processes you acquire those knowledge. And basically these are based on the experience, the stored knowledge. Your brain, your brain is a repository of too much information. Okay, so you will recall from your brain you will recall incidents from your brain that are stored in your brain you will retrieve the saved information okay and you will use it at a later time you will use it at a later time so this ability of the human this is known as cognition cognitive task so it involves acquiring of the information. Ek bari aapki pitai hogi, ek information aapne acquire kar li, and you also organize that information. Okay, you can also set a hierarchy that stealing is bad and and the punishing the punishing the animals. It is even it is even more worse. Okay, you may create a hierarchy of the bad things. And learning from the past experiences. So these, these are all cognitive tasks. Using the past information, learning from the past experiences and responding to the situations in new ways. Ek bari chori ke baad aapki pitai hoge, to uske baad ya to aap chori avoid kar doge, ya fir aap chori bhoot hi shatir, shatir pane ke saath karoge, ke aap pakde na jau. Okay. So these are the cognitive tasks and we want the computer to behave in this same manner. Now artificial intelligence, it is the ability to rationalize and take actions that have the best chance of achieving a specific goal. Okay, the ability to rationalize and take action, actions based, based upon the inputs. So the ability of the computer to respond differently in different situations. That is what is desired by artificial intelligence. If the machine can respond differently in different situations, then it, it will be artificially intelligent. It will be an intelligent machine. If the machine can mimic the human intelligence and perform tasks like a human brain, then the machine will be artificially intelligent. So 
सिमुलेशन ऑफ ह्यूमन इंटेलिजेंस वाई डू यू वॉन्ट टू कॉपी द ह्यूमन इंटेलिजेंस टू अचीव द गोल्स लाइक लर्निंग रीजनिंग एंड परसेप्शन ओके ऑल ऑफ यू नो डेट द कंप्यूटर्स दे वर्क ऑन द प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस ओके द कंप्यूटर्स दे वर्क ऑन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस एंड वट आर वट आर दोज लैंग्वेजेस लैंग्वेजेस आर बेसिकली एल्गोरिथ languages are algorithms and algorithms are a set of instructions a step by step set of instructions is algorithm jaise ki sabhi ne youtube par kuch nayi recipes banane ki videos dekhi hongi to wahan pe kya diya jata hai a set a step by step information is given so algorithm is basically the same at each step we tell the computer what to do and a programming language is basically the algorithms in which we instruct the computer what to do so this artificial intelligence it is a set of special algorithms okay and there are two types of artificial intelligence one is the weak artificial intelligence where the simple tasks are assigned to the machines or computers so these are single task oriented machines and the best example is the apple siri and amazon's alexa so they are doing simple tasks you basically they respond to only certain keywords okay and they may not respond to every other keyword they respond to only specific keywords so this is the weak ai weak ai because these these applications these machines they are doing only simple tasks and strong ai is when the tasks involved they are more complex and they are human like in case of strong ai their task involved they are more complex and they are more human like so in the case of strong ai the machine it may have to take its own decision it may encounter with situations that it has never encountered or for those situation for which we have not prepared it or we have not provided any algorithm for those kind of situations then that artificial intelligence is strong ai okay and the example of strong ai is self driving cars see in the case of self driving cars when a car is driving on a road then it may encounter a pothole and it may encounter so many obstacle it may even encounter humans and animals so these are designed to avoid accidents so we cannot prepare these machines beforehand for everything okay and they evolve their own algorithms for certain kind of things in certain situations they may have to take decisions by themselves just as in the case of self driving cars jaise ek bari jab bacche ko school mein bhej dete hain then school mein usko apne discretion pe kuch decisions lene padenge ओके okay, सब जगह पे पेरेंट्स नहीं होंगे इनपुट देने के लिए तो वहां पे वो अपनी कॉग्नेटिव स्किल्स को यूज करके वो कुछ डिसीजन वहां पे लेता है इन द सेम वे द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एल्गोरिथम इट वर्क्स एन एल्गोरिथम इज प्रोवाइडेड अ सेट ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड डेटा इज प्रोवाइडेड टू द मशीन इनिशियली so that the machine can respond to a given type of data you have 
given the instructions to the machine to process a type of data to process a particular set of data but and it produces some outputs but eventually it may happen that when it is offered another set of data okay then depending upon its past experience it generates its own algorithm or it can modify its algorithm based on the past experience just as a human brain does the machine it modifies its own algorithm to respond to new situations whenever the machine is subjected to new situation it will respond to it okay so the artificial intelligence we can say that ai is a set of algorithms okay and these algorithms they can self modify the machine can develop new algorithms to respond to new situation so this is a new thing in case of artificial intelligence कोई क्वेश्चन पूछना चाह रहा था सो विल कैट कैम मशीन्स बी कमिंग अंडर स्ट्रॉन्ग ए आई और वीक ए आई सर विच मशीन सर कंप्यूटर एडेड डिजाइनिंग एंड मैन्युफैक्चर मशीन सर विल इट कम अंडर strong ai or weak ai sir computer aided designing i do not yes, know sir. what these are see when i ever so when i was in other models they design using the cad no sir okay see whenever the machine it can all of you must be must agree on this that the machines they are devised for some special purpose specific purpose okay take the simplest example of a coffee making machine if in the morning you are saying good morning then the machine it gets turned on and it will start preparing coffee so this machine okay it can respond to only this specific situation it cannot respond to any other situation because it is designed only to take one input good morning or any other input which is similar to good morning but the artificial intelligent machines they can take any data and they will modify the algorithm they will search for an algorithm to process that data new data okay so they can respond to new kind of situations weak ai they mostly involve this kind of situation when only one task is involved and strong ai strong ai is involved when the machines can respond to new situations let me give you one more example okay video is lost hello aman you cannot hear me baki sabko awaaz aa rahi hai okay let us take one example not able to see the screen wait a minute
ओके वन नाउ इट इज ऑडिबल सर यहाँ पे स्क्रीन चली गई है जी हाँ सर हेलो अरे सर राजा बात कर रहा हूँ now suppose suppose you are training your kid okay you are training your kid that if someone ask you how are you then you have to reply i am good okay so you have trained your kid in this manner only for one task you are if anyone ask him how are you he will reply i am good you have programmed your child only for one task okay you have given him some information data and you have given him the instruction that whenever you get this data how are you then you have to reply i am good okay is it clear the algorithm is if you get this data then you have to reply this okay is it okay you have programmed your kid now one guest came and he asked your kid how are you he says i am good and another guest 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 came and he asked your kid how are you doing I am so sorry, guys, for the disruption, and I don't know what is the problem. So, if you have given your kid the instructions that whenever you get this data, how are you? Then you will reply, "I am good." But your kid is an intelligent machine. Okay, your kid is biologically intelligent machine. And the one guest came and he asked him, "How are you doing?" so you have not prepared your kid for such kind of situations but he may reply even to that question okay because he is an intelligent being he may reply to even that question for which you have not prepared him artificial intelligent machines they precisely do this artificially intelligent machines they precisely do this okay and this is even tested this is even tested these scientists they they made a program they made a computer program okay to play a certain game for a certain kind of game they developed a computer program and the computer was playing that game so after so many processes they found that the computer developed one strategy the computer developed its own strategy which was not given to it by the programmers after several processes after 3 4 5 more processes the programmers they get to know that the computer is functioning on a strategy which they have not programmed into the computer yes people absolutely alpha go game yes i guess that is go game
for the go game so the computer devised its own strategy okay a new kind of strategy to play the game and that strategy was not provided by the programmers so this is artificial intelligence the computer it can modify its algorithms and it can even generate new algorithms or algorithms pe pareshan hone ki zarurat nahi hai algorithms they are just the instructions given to a machine for how to do a work jaise ki aapne chote bachche ko bataya ke jabhi bhi koi bada aayega to jhuk kar namaste karni hai so those instruction the programs are like those instruction these are the algorithms what to do okay what to do in a given situation and artificial intelligent machine they precisely they can respond to new kind of situations so the example of self driving cars because they encounter new kind of situations this is strong artificial intelligence and in the case of weak artificial intelligence and if you will give some other kind of instruction to these machines they may not respond to it because they are not programmed to respond to that data new kind of data they can respond to only one category of data and they have the fixed answers so that is some sort of weak artificial intelligence is it clear okay good so what are these algorithms algorithms they are a set of step by step instructions algorithm are a set of step by step instructions given to a machine okay and these are basically the building blocks of programs these contain detailed instructions for each step okay detailed instruction for each step is contained in them and algorithm basically they take some input they use mathematics and logic to produce the output so if this is the algorithm written and the algorithm they usually use the maths plus logic and they are designed for a particular category of data input and they produce some output so these are simple algorithms but in the case of artificially intelligent algorithms artificial intelligent machines what they do a portion of the output is linked to the input so they use the output produced as the input okay and based upon their past experience they respond to data in a new way so this is how the artificial intelligent machines work so please repeat the last one see artificial intelligent machines what they do a portion of the output it uses that as the input they are also learning from the output output that the artificial intelligent machines they are generating so they are also learning from that output from the past experience jaise ki jab bacche ne chori ki thi to uski pitai hui thi okay to usne us information ko us output ko next time ke liye use kiya ki chori karke pakda gaya to pitai hogi is it clear now okay now we have this term machine learning now machine learning and artificial intelligence they are different things but sometimes they are used interchangeably but they are different 
see the machine learning machine learning is a subset it is a part of artificial intelligence artificial intelligence is a broader term it is a broader term and machine learning it is a part of artificial intelligence i hope you can understand this diagram artificial intelligence it is a broader term and machine learning it is a part of artificial intelligence and machine learning is basically it is the ability of the machines to learn from data and improve themselves okay if the algorithms they can improve themselves then that is machine learning and machine learning is basically the part of artificial intelligence please note this definition also programs that improve automatically they are okay that is machine learning see machine learning whenever the programs they can improve themselves automatically with experience that is the domain of machine learning but in the case of artificial intelligence we compare it with the human thinking process okay we co we compare it with the cognitive skills the cognitive skills they are of several types like thinking perceiving please write these learning problem solving and decision making so we define artificial intelligence in these terms and what are we saying machine learning is the ability of the programs to improve themselves with experience that is machine learning and i will the difference between machine learning and ai okay i will clear it don't worry machine learning is basically the it is the building block of artificial intelligence it is the part of artificial intelligence whenever you are talking of artificial intelligence these things will be involved but the artificial intelligence it is related to the ability of the machine to replicate the human thinking process the human process of problem solving artificial intelligence is related to it okay and deep learning what is this deep learning deep learning it is a technique of machine learning you just have to remember only this deep learning it is the technique of machine learning one of the techniques of machine learning is deep learning and please write about the computation the computation is computation is any calculation please write computation is any calculation involving both arithmetical in well involving both arithmetical operations and non arithmetical operations okay so computation is related to any calculation involving both the arithmetical operation plus the non arithmetical operations that is computation 
so what the computers do they compute okay one of the task is computation they compute and there is one more difference in the case of machine learning in the case of machine learning usually the structured data is fed into the algorithm of machine learning structured data okay and the output is produced i will explain what is meant by structured data see structured data means if we are using a machine learning program in a financial institution then in the financial institution okay the structured data will be fed into the system why it is structured data because this data is related only to the financial transactions you can be certain that it will not process any other data only the financial data will be fed into this machine learning algorithm and it will produce certain outputs outputs like whether the transaction is authentic or it is a fraud yes in the case of machine learning <coughs> people i am saying that <coughs> any program which can self improve is basically is the domain of machine learning okay in the case of artificial intelligence also artificial intelligence also it can modify its algorithm so here these two are the same in the case of artificial intelligence the ability to replicate the human behavior okay this has the primacy in the case of artificial intelligence remember in the definition of artificial intelligence humne baat ki thi that ability to replicate the human behavior and i am now telling you the second difference second difference is that usually in, with the machine learning the structured data is fed into the system structured data is fed into the machine फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर बैंक वगैरह में हम मशीन लर्निंग को यूज कर रहे हैं बैंक कोई प्रोग्राम यूज कर रही है देन ओनली दी फाइनेंशियल डेटा इट विल बी फेड इन टू दिस्टम दैट डेटा इज स्ट्रक्चर बिकॉज इट बिलोंग्स टू अ पर्टिकुलर कैटेगरी ओके दैट इज दाइनेंशियल डेटा बट इन द केस ऑफ द एलगोरिथम्स डेटा रिलेटेड टू ए आई वी हैव द अनस्ट्रक्चर डेटा we have the unstructured data in the case of ais and because the data is structured the algorithm depending upon the type of data the ai algorithm it will choose any one of the algorithm and it will process that information to produce an output so in the case of ai generally the data fed is unstructured data and in the case of machine learning we usually fed it with structured data is it clear now let me repeat once again i define machine learning as the programs the set of programs that improve automatically with experience only this is the so machine learning it involves the programs that improve automatically with experience okay but in case of ai when we define ai we said that the ability of the machines to behave like human beings to solve the problems like the human do that is how we define the artificial intelligence remember the definition of john mccarthy okay it is the science and engineering of developing intelligent machines and another difference was ke machine learning ke andar we are using the structured data the data which is fed to the machine learning algorithm that is structured data 
but in the case of artificial intelligence we are using the unstructured data this was the point ओके okay, बाकी लोगों को आवाज आई मुझे लगता है आज का सेशन तो टेक्निकल ग्लिच में खराब हो गया डोंट वरी जिसके जो भी डाउट होंगे प्लीज आप वो डाउट सेंड कर दें एंड आई एम अश्योरिंग बी assuring you people that i can always come up with new analogies okay to make you understand the complex concepts but for that aap logo ko mujhe batana hoga ki kya cheez aapke samajh mein nahi aayi hai theek hai yes meenu uh, you taught that program that improves automatically with experience yes right. can you explain it with an example I gave you the example of the computer program playing the Go game. Okay. So the programmers they provided a set of instructions to the machine how to play that game. But after the several games, after five six games, they noticed that the machine has developed a unique strategy, a new kind of strategy. okay which they have not programmed into the system so this indicated that the machine has developed its own algorithm okay the machine has developed a new kind of strategy to play the same game what the people do is ye ek software taiyar karte hain and the computer plays against the best of the people jo bhi best players hain same game ke wo compete karte hain एंड जब कंप्यूटर उनके साथ कॉम्पीट करता है देन बाई लर्निंग थ्रू डेट एक्सपीरियंस ओके बाई लर्निंग थ्रू डेट एक्सपीरियंस दूटर इट मॉडिफाइज इट्स ओन प्रोग्राम एंड इट डिवाइस न्यू स्ट्रेटेजीज सो एक टाइम ऐसा आता है कि स्टार्टिंग में जो बेस्ट ऑफ द प्लेयर्स हैं दे कैन बीट द कंप्यूटर बट इवेंचुअली द कंप्यूटर इज एबल टू डिवाइस स्ट्रेटेजीज डेट द कंप्यूटर बिकम्स अनबीटेबल it becomes unbeatable because it is yes kritika the developers were su surprised to see this okay so the computer developed its own strategy to deal with the new kind of situations and eventually the computer they were able to defeat the best of the players of the go game I do not know what this Go game is about. Is it clear, Minu? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, Minu. Now, because is because of this self-improving ability of the artificially intelligent programs. Okay. so the countries there is an atmosphere of fear regarding the artificial intelligence ke ek din aisa aayega ke artificially intelligent machines wo human ke control se bahar chali jayengi that is only one speculation okay that is only one speculation but kuch bhi ho sakta hai so we will begin with this <coughs> topic on monday and hopefully we will complete it <coughs> so for now i am ending the session and take care goodbye see you on monday <coughs>